Thank you, Mr. Chang. And now, Mr. Lowe. Thank you very much. Uh, and let me also uh, thank the League of Women Voters, particularly for putting on this uh, opportunity for all of us to uh, educate ourselves and to hear from each other. Uh, I did also want to make mention that uh, I have a deep amount of respect for Councilmember Page and Councilmember Chang. We actually served together on various uh, boards together in terms of the regional capacity, whether it be sanitation district or any other capacity. And so um, coming from the smaller cities of the suburbs, uh, it, we're very fortunate to have a great amount of opportunity for elected officials, being that the assembly district, actually is two thirds of it, is in San Jose. So usually you get someone from San Jose running, but the fact you have uh, individuals coming from smaller cities. Um, having said that, my name is Evan Lowe, and I served on the city council here in the city of Campbell for the past eight years. I'm in my eighth and final term. I served two terms as mayor. Uh, I also worked two years as a legislative aide to uh, then Senator Elaine Alquist, and then also six years now as a legislative aide for Assembly Member Paul Fong, the member that we are running to replace. I also teach uh, political science and American government at De Anza Community College, so I am practicing what I preach by running, and uh, the focus, of, I think, in terms of Silicon Valley is that of education. Uh, when we talk and I see students in the community college classrooms, uh, many of them actually are on financial aid. And think about that. Students are on financial aid at a community college, whereas when I look back at this room, if you think about asking yourself this question, how much did it cost for you to go to get your higher education, and what, how much loans uh, and how much of it did it cost to get higher education? And so we have this generation now of individuals trying to gain the skill sets to become productive members of our society in Silicon Valley. We need to really look at the educational reforms as it relates to our state budget. How do we adequately fund uh, education? And why is it that we place so low as a com comparison to neighboring states? And so I'm looking forward to the conversation uh, that we have here before us. Thank you very much.